We're gonna show you guys the top foods to gain muscle. This video is happening because you guys smashed the heck out of the like button in the last video. It went way over the like goal, 500 likes, so good stuff. You guys wanna see a part three? Get this video over 500 likes. So the goal here is to gain muscle. To gain muscle, as you guys know or should know, you gotta be over your maintenance calories. So you wanna be a little bit above or a lot above, that kinda depends on the level you want to bulk at. So we're gonna show you our favorite foods, guys, to put on muscle. Let's get it. When I was 160 pounds and really skinny, I really wanted to bulk up to 200, kind of like Kyle does now. So what I would do is I do my P90X and my token thing, I kid you not, all this is all the way back, maybe six or seven years ago, smoothies. I just get a ton of these, throw it in with some protein powder, maybe some hemp hearts, some healthy fats of some kind, so maybe a peanut butter, and you can make a really solid, kind of like masking or at home edition. So you're getting fruits, peanut butter, healthy fats, proteins, all in one, and it's just this mecha shake that could be like 600 to 1,000 calories. I worked at a smoothie bar too, so I know all the insides and outs about how to do this effectively. But trust me guys, smoothies are gonna be a token for you if you're looking to put on size. Okay guys, so we're gonna try to keep this kind of limited in pricing. We wanna make sure this is done on a budget. So we're gonna go with no name, similar to the last video. This thing right here, there's five of them for $5. We're in Canada right here. We'll put the conversion on the screen. Right here, this is like 500 calories. You just muck a couple of these and it's just so great for bulking up. There's a lot of fiber, a lot of protein, a ton of carbs, and it's gotta be a staple in a bulk. Especially for you hard gainers, it's fantastic. In the last video, we asked for your submissions and you guys did just that. And someone said olive oil. And I have to say, I agree with that person 100%. This one's lesser known because people think, oh, it's not the healthiest, it's a ton of fat, I don't want this. We have to understand when you're eating a lot more calories than you're comfortable doing, especially for hard gainers, you need your healthy fats. And this is a great way to get them in at the end of the day. Uh, for me, I was literally to the point where I think I had to have about 6,000 calories. I was playing on four sports teams, going to the gym like crazy. I just needed calories. So I remember at night, I'd take three tablespoons of olive oil. I was really pushing it. That's a little extreme, guys, but I know there's some of you on that spectrum, so that's something to consider. If not for the average everyday Joe, you can just kind of introduce this to your cooking a little bit here and there for some extra needed calories. Okay guys, so for those of you who don't know, we like following the 80-20 rule, 80% 80 nutritious, healthier foods, and a little bit of fun food. So for me here, we've got some muffins. And one thing I'm gonna say about these things here is you're gonna save a ton of money by actually making it yourself instead of buying the muffins. Like this is a couple bucks, and it's gonna last you weeks and weeks. So right here, highly recommend introducing these things that you can actually bake yourself into your diet. Or you can hire Kyle to do it, because he's the muffin man. <laughs> Make sure you smash that like button if you want a Kyle uh, cooking video coming up. That would be bad. That would be horrible. But still smash the like button because I'd love it. Next up, guys, this is an absolute staple in the last video. A lot of you were commenting tuna, and I couldn't agree more. I've always used tuna in my diet, and there's just so many fantastic things about it. It's very cheap, easy to add to like literally absolutely everything, really high in protein, and it still tastes pretty solid. Um, so one thing I will say is the difference here is there's literally a dollar thirty difference. This one's kind of like brand name. This one's no name. If you're on a budget, go with this one, and you won't be disappointed. Fun fact, I've actually never had tuna in my entire life. Low key. <laughs> I actually have never had That's tuna. That's crazy, man. I've never even tasted tuna. Yeah. I have no idea what it tastes like. Yeah. I just always assumed it's nasty. Yeah, it's pretty good. Next up, the best Greek yogurt. You can get this in little packs. You can buy the bulk thing. Obviously, this is on a budget, so we ain't trying to make you broke by buying those little packs because that'll be about a dollar a pack. This, however, is really good if you need it at home. However, if you want to pack it in snacks, there are ways to do that. You can always put it in a Ziploc. It looks a little weird, but it does the job or in Tupperware. Tupperware is always a great alternative to save money and actually hold yourself accountable to your portion sizes. Why Greek yogurt? Because Greek yogurt tastes delicious. I don't know how they make it taste so good and it's super high in protein. Like per serving here guys, you're getting 14 grams of protein, 4.5 fat and 20 carbs. Those are great bulking macros or great macros to gain muscle gain in general, whether it's a lean bulk or a serious bulk. Greek yogurt is king. I can't recommend it enough. And it's one of the key sources I give to my online coaching clients who are new and don't know how to get their protein count up. I recommend just having a little bit of this in the day, some protein shakes, and you'll be on your way to hitting your thresholds real quick. Next up, guys, protein bars. This one sounds obvious, but keep in mind, a lot of these protein bars suck. This only has 15 grams of protein. Some only have seven. It's pretty garbage for how nasty they taste. A lot of protein bars taste like dirt or disgusting. There's a couple that are really good, don't get me wrong. Muscle Farm Combat Crunch is incredible protein bar. Um, the Synthesis bar is pretty good. Quest is hit or miss, but all in all, I can't say there's too many protein bars I like. Saying so, you can make them at home by using oatmeal, 
protein, a banana, and water. That's legitimately it. You mix that up. You can choose how much protein you want. It's cheap. It tastes delicious. You can pack them. You can make them even muffins, proteins. I really recommend trying that out. It's very easy. I believe we have a recipe for it somewhere. We'll post it in the description down below. I'll figure it out and do it for you guys. But I mean, honestly, it tastes better in my opinion. There's less nonsense with it. And these things are so expensive now. In Canada, they're about four or five dollars a bar, which is ridiculous. So I really recommend going the at your home, do it yourself option. Next up guys, on a bulk, especially on a budget, this stuff is fantastic. We've got spaghetti. Any type of pasta really is good. Like I said guys, the no name right here is so cheap for how much you're actually getting. We recommend putting it with beef. You can add a ton of things just to really boost up those calories. It's a great source of carbs and you can down a ton of it. Like I used to have Tupperware containers of pasta just to help me go from being like 130 pounds and skinny to bulk up. And one of the reasons guys I love food such as pasta, oatmeal, rice, you guys can literally make it whatever you want. If you're struggling with hitting protein, you can add in some chicken. If you need a little bit more fat, add in some olive oil or some beef. Like literally whatever it is, you can really kind of create it your own to help you reach your macronutrient goals. Bulk up, cut down, whatever it is you're trying to do. These foods will always be here for you. It's hard to talk about vegetables, guys, because they're not too caloric and they're very fibrous, so they fill you up. So sometimes you want to avoid them, but you also don't. You want the micronutrients, you want a good balanced diet. And that's why we can't recommend vegetables enough. The way I get my vegetables in, I'm not the kind of guy to sit down and snack at them at night. When I'm really low on a diet, I can do that, but not when I'm bulking. So I like to integrate them with my food. So if I'm doing a chicken and rice, I'll throw some peas in there nice and easy, or even on my pasta, I'll mix in some peas. I really like peas because they add some nice flavor to them. They're not too, too caloric, but they do have a decent amount of calories. And either you love them or hate them, but I think they're pretty good. You're gonna get some additional fiber, protein. So it is important you're getting this as well. You just don't wanna overdo it with the fiber. Fill yourself up to the point where you cannot hit your calories. That is definitely a no-no, but I definitely recommend kind of just mixing in your vegetables, like I said, your fruits into your smoothies get it all in one and help them kind of add flavor to your foods. So oftentimes guys when you're dirty bulking or you're just like a hard gainer you struggle to get enough calories it's very hard to strictly eat clean just have like that broccoli chicken rice kind of lifestyle so I don't feel bad when 80% of my foods are kind of like nutritious whole foods to mix in something like this guys sometimes at the end of the day I'm struggling for calories so you know some donuts are like basically my guilty pleasure and right here there's like six of them for six bucks so it's a dollar a piece they taste great and they help me reach my macronutrient goals at the end of the day. With that being said, guys, I'd love for you guys to smash that like button. 500 likes and we'll do top 10 dirty, bulking, junk type of foods to help you guys reach your bodybuilding and fitness goals. So please smash that like button if you want to see that. Comment down below with one food that we haven't showed you guys that's your top favorite bodybuilding food. Subscribe if you're new to the channel and we'll see you guys next time. Peace out. This time gang is so late it's scary. Guys, comment the time gang right here. Put it down below for a chance to win a Colossus t-shirt and uh, hopefully you guys win. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.